Good evening, everyone. Let's start the session with our school song. It all just feels like a dream to me to find a school so true. And I know it's all in make believe when I picture a school like you. The one thing that I learned from you is that I can make my dreams come true. To find memories of Billabong in my mind. Imagine how that could be. Imagine how that could be. I Saira Singh from Grade 4 and I Harshita Garwal from Grade 4 welcome you all on the digital platform of Billabong Inspires Talk Series. On behalf of Billabong High International School, we would like to, th to thank all the parents for the support and work towards our school. Billabong Inspires Talk Series initiative will bring together working parents from various fields of expertise. They will share their life experiences which will help, motivate and inspire the students towards achieving their goals. BHI strongly believe in the core values which inform you th your thoughts, decisions and actions and help you align your career or life path to what's important to you. They are the essential foundation in finding your life purpose because they remind us and others who we truly are. BHI's core values are diligence, hardworking, persistent, resilient, service, generosity, enterprise, charity, leadership, stewardship, compassion, kind, empathetic, humble, resourcefulness, creative, risk taker, dynamic, outward looking, commitment to a large community, a family, a belief system, cultural model, models, sustainability, environment and integrity, honest, trustworthy, modest and respectful. Billabong Inspires Talk Series is all geared up today for an interesting and enlightening session with our speaker, Mr. Vaib Bhargav, who will be taking us through his life journey. Mr. Vaib Bhargav is one of the leading printers of Kanpur. After wrapping up his BBA from University of Bradford, he earned himself a diploma in printing from London College of Printing. Initially, in Initially into the family business of security printing, he decided to diversify into packaging in the recent past. He devotes his free time to fitness and automobile research. Now, without much ado, we would like to welcome our guest speaker for the day, Mr. Vaibhav Bhargav. Sir, you're muted. Good afternoon, everybody. I would like to thank Team Billabong for giving me this opportunity to interact with the wonderful kids and share my knowledge with them. Thank you 
pizza, sang peace so much, sir. So I have got so inspired from your journey and we both have got so motivated to see your commitment towards your work. So we would like to ask you a few questions related to your journey and to your work. Also, students can ask their questions by writing in the chat box. So firstly, I would like to ask, in which year was Calcutta Security Printers established? The company was established in 1964 by my father. Thank you, sir. So, what do you print at your printing press? What are the different machines you use? We print uh, checkbooks for uh, most of the nationalized and cooperative banks and also manufacture printed uh, duplex carton and corrugated carton for the food industry, such as Goldie Masale, MBH Spices, Ashok Masale, and many other manufacturing units which require boxes to pack their final product. For, uh, for uh, check printing, we either use a two color offset machine or a four color offset machine, depending uh, how many colors are there in the checkbook. And after printing the ground and the logo, we take those checks to the laser printer where we print uh, the customer's name and the account details. And uh, after, after that, the checkbooks are then taken on to the binding unit to uh, make them into a booklet and dispatch it to the banks. And in packaging, we use either a five color or six color offset machine to print on board. And then those sheets are taken to the offset, uh, to the uh, automatic die cutters to cut the box out of the printed sheet. And finally on the folder grower to fold the car fold and paste the cartons, which are then packed and dispatched to the customers for their to pack their products. Thank you, sir. Sir, how do you print machines engineers uh, control the color when they make a printing device? I would like to term them as uh, machine operators who control uh, who control the ink flow through computers and and uh, how much ink has to be given that has to be judged visually. Why, why did you use Billabong for your child? We chose Billabong High for our child because we were very happy with the overall development and progress of our elder son in the school and wanted nothing less for the younger one. Thank you, sir. Sir, what is CMYK in a print? Does digital printing use CMYK or RGB? CMYK in the printing industry stands for cyan, yellow, magenta, black, which are the basic four process colors used in the printing process to generate billions of colors. Uh, and a digital printer uses CMYK technology. Thank you, sir. So is white considered a printing color? Yes, sir. white is a printing color and it's specially used in a different printing process, which we call it uh, UV printing. It's used on basic uh, metallized surfaces, like I'll show you this uh, box. So this box is basically first uh, laminated with the silver uh, metallized film. And on top of that, we print it with UV inks and we uh, dry the inks using UV lamps. So white is basically used to, uh, to enhance the pictures. Otherwise the picture will uh, print it on just the metallized surface will turn out to be very dull. So yes, uh, white is a, uh, is a printing color. Thank you, sir. Sir, why do the printed colors look different from the colors on my screen? A picture printed on paper has a certain tone generated by the pigments used in the ink, which cannot be altered once printed. A screen uses a LED backlit technology and pixels which generate colors and they can be altered using the settings on the monitor. And plus they, the, the screens use RGB technology which uh, produces more vibrant colors than CMYK. So that's why the, the colors vary. Thank you, sir. So why do, uh, sir, is the digital so is the digital revolution making paper obsolete? What kind of innovation is happening in the paper industry? 
yes to some extent the digital content available on the internet is affecting the use of paper and in time to come even the study material will be available digitally like my son he is studying in woodstock and ib board i hardly see any textbook or uh, any everything is every, every content is on, online and the things he has to submit is everything is done online so there is no use of uh, books in that and uh, yes in terms of packaging the paper board industry will continue to grow because anything manufactured and has to be sold in the market needs to be uh, packed and in time to come uh, the there will be a ban on single use plastic so the paper board industry will see a big boom and people are still trying to uh, i mean uh, fuse plastic with paper so the purpose can be solved and the plastic which they are planning to use is biodegradable but it will take some time for the market to uh, absorb the thing because there's a higher uh, manufacturing cost to it thank you sir so what do you think about paper industry future in a digital world in terms of publishing paper does not have a bright future because lot of uh, magazines and everything they are going on uh, they are all digital so i think people are opting less to subscribe to those magazines and now with uh, everybody having a smartphone people want to read news and everything on uh, the device so use of the paper in the new future i think it will uh, not be that much but uh, the paper board industry will definitely uh, grow thank you sir so how are the publishers able to uh, able to print book covers in neon colors there are special neon inks available in the market which can be used in the printing process and uh, any 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 design can be printed with those colors thank you sir sir do you have any closing thoughts regarding the session yes uh, i must say this session was extremely interactive and the questions were very relevant and intelligently framed i hope it has significantly contributed in enhancing the children's knowledge about printing technology thank you so much sir now I, now we would like to read the questions from the chat box so there is a question do you offer printing design support as well uh yes uh, we do not offer a complete solution but somebody gives us a design we do uh make changes to them uh, as per the customer requirement so the next question is do you uh, do you spend time with customers with your customers and provide them advice and the new designing and or printing ideas uh yes uh, when there's a new product development we definitely sit with our customers and uh, uh did educate them about the new technology and everything and uh, then we leave the decision to them we offer them whatever new news there in the market for the new product thank you sir so there's a question could you explain us more about your job uh i'm basically looking after the the overall i mean the marketing plus uh uh Uh, the the printing production and everything even the floor management like what has to be done and uh, even like the machine operating and all that i monitor all that thank you sir what is the best file format for submitting a document for printing uh, it, uh the best format is either uh, adobe illustrator or corel draw format Thank you, sir. So there's a question. What is the difference between coated and uncoated paper stock? Ah, uh, coated is basically uh, the paper uh, which uh, I mean, which has a glaze and a shine to it. And uncoated is uh, paper which does not have any shine. For example, the text, uh, the textbook uh, you use, and uh, even the notebooks used for writing, ah, uh, that is uncoated paper. thank you sir so the next question is what is the role of innovation in the packaging industry uh actually uh, uh, 
with the uh, i mean with the environment changes and everything like the ban of single use plastic so people uh, are innovating new ideas how, because there there are few things which cannot work without uh, the plastic barrier so people are uh, like uh, finding out ways how to merge paper with certain biodegradable plastic so the outside it's paper but there is a fine line of plastic which uh, prevents the product inside from getting bad so that's a innovation happening right now and plus even in the printing industry the, the machine manufacturers they are also working towards how eco friendly uh, their machines can be and new ways of uh, printing thank you sir so there is a question can i use an environmentally friendly material for printing uh yes uh, you can i mean there there are uh, inks also in the market which are environmentally friendly and everything so you can use uh thank you sir so the next question is uh how many employees do you have about uh, 105 to 110 employees thank you sir sir there is a question how many trees are cut to make one paper uh that i don't have any idea because uh, only a paper manufacturer can answer that question thank you sir so so what is the scientific method for paper dyeing at and at which stage is paper dyeing suitable uh actually uh, there is printing on paper we don't dye paper if there are any questions please write it down in the chat box so there is a question how many branches do you have in up uh, only one in kanpur uh, so the next question thank you so everyone please write the questions in the chat box so the uh, thank you sir so the question is what is uh, what is the timing of your job uh usually 10 15 till uh, 6:30 but uh, we don't have any spe specific time if our job wants to be there then we are there till 7:30 8 o'clock so there is no fixed time thank you sir so there is a there is a question sir where is your branch in kanpur in mcrobert ganj thank you sir so yes sir so the next question is there is no question in the chat. everyone please write the question in the chat box thank you so much sir now it's time for some fun element it's quiz time students will get 10 seconds for each question and they are requested to write their answers in the chat box The first, uh, the first electronic printer invented by Japanese company Epson and released in 1968. The options are: ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So the correct answer is. C E P is one E P dash one zero one, and the correct answer is given by Pankhri Goel. So the next question is, which printers are widely used in fax machines? And your options are ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero.
and the right answer is option A given by Man Manamrut Kaur Marwa. Which printer is used to lim uh, is used limited to one or a few phones? And the options are 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And the correct answer is answer B given by... given by so uh, uh arna jaswal for R. and the next question is what is the main advantage of a dot matrix printer and your options are 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 and the right answer is option B, given by no one. The next question is, which device has rig, rig, rigid plastic housing that is replaceable, re recyclable, and reusable? And the, correct, and the options are... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. And the correct answer is option A given by Zoya Furaya. And the next question is which condition we need to change the toner in the printer? And your options are 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And the right answer is Option B, given by Arna Jaswal for R. Which is an input device? And the option are... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And the correct answer is... Answer D, given by, Pank given by Pankuri Goel. The next question is, who is known as the father of printer? And your options are 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And the right answer is option A given by Arna Jaswal for R. The dash produces the output on a paper. And the options are 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And the correct answer is given by Manamrut Kaur. The next question is, a printer is not an output device that is used to print the output on a paper. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And the right answer is option B given by Pankhuri Goyal for us. Many congratulations to all the win winners. Please give clap reaction to all the participants. Thank you so much, sir. We have got so inspired to see your passion towards your work. And I'm sure everyone must have been amazed to get to know more about your inspiring journey. Our heartfelt gratitude to our founder, to our heartfelt gratitude to our founder and CEO Ms. Preeti Agarwal for initiating such talks, which kindles in us the curiosity to explore more. We convey our heartfelt gratitude to our guest speaker, Mr. Vibhav Parga, for the dynamic talk. Your feedbacks and suggestions is most important to us for raising the bar all the time. 
WhatsApp class group will remain open till 5:30 p.m. Parents and students are requested to share their feedbacks and suggestions in the class group. Thank you so much, everyone, to be a part of this Villa Woman Spies talk series. We will meet tomorrow on 13th February 2022 at the same time with our next guest speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.